The aura is an energy field that surrounds the human body and other living things. In the case of humans, the energy field interacts through spiritual and psychological levels via structures called chakras. Psychics and other spiritual sensitives claim to have the ability to see the size, color, and type of vibration of an aura. Help us figure out if this phenomena is real. Charles Webster Leadbeater, a former priest of the Church of England and a member of the Mystic Theosophical Society, popularized the concept of auras in the early 1900s. In 1903, he published his book, Man Visible and Invisible. In this book he illustrated the auras of men in what he considered different stages of moral evolution. The modern concept of auras was introduced by Leadbeater in 1910 when he published his book The Inner Life where he incorporates the tantric notion of chakras to his aura ideology. Mr. Leadbeater describes chakras as energy vortices associated with glands and other organs of the human body. Leadbeater's ideas on the aura and chakras were adopted and reinterpreted by other theosophists, but his occult anatomy remained of minor interest within the esoteric counterculture. But in the 1980s, the New Age movement picked up Leadbeater's occult anatomy ideas. American esotericist Christopher Hills published the book, Nuclear Evolution, The Rainbow Body, in 1977. In his book, Hills presented a modified version of Leadbeater's occult anatomy. Hills presented chakras as a sequence of centers, each one being associated with the color of the rainbow. Chakras became a part of mainstream esoteric culture in the 1980s and 1990s. Author and psychologist Andrew Nayer has written that there is no good evidence to support the notion that auras are, in any way, psychic in origin. Neurologists believe that certain brain conditions are responsible for aura perception. Among those conditions they list are epilepsy, migraines, the influence of psychedelic drugs, or even disorders within the visual system that provoke optical effects. Some experts have suggested that auras may be the result of synesthesia. But a study conducted in 2012 discovered that there's no link between aura perception and synesthesia. Their conclusion was that the discrepancies found suggest that both phenomena are phenomenological and behaviorally dissimilar. Even though there's no scientific evidence of the existence of auras, we can't just discard them as not real. Aura is supposed to be a manifestation of the human spirit, and it's hard, if not impossible to gather scientific evidence in matters of this nature. Do you believe auras are real? Are you able to see them, or know anybody who does? Drop us a line in the comments section.